Thank you for seeing us, Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is William Parsons, a senior pastor at Redeemer Lutheran Church in Fairhope. Thank you for joining us, sir. G glad to be here, Chad. Thanks. All right, so we want to talk about Thanksgiving this morning. This is kind of sure. a special holiday that's sort of both based on national tradition and Judeo-Christian principles. Talk about Talk to us about how that has played a role in sustaining Thanksgiving over many, many years. Well, it goes back to the really foundations of our country. The pilgrims, as, as many know, in 1521, they had come through a really, really hard year. Half their number had died during their first winter in 1620 to 1621. And then they had this great, they, many things that occurred that they saw as miracles. They had, uh, they had, they had arrived at a place, Plymouth, New Plymouth, where there was no, nothing built there. They, the people, the inhabitants had died, unfortunately and they found stores of corn and, and shelter and good water. And then in the spring, a, a Native American literally walks out of the woods who knows English, is a Christian, and helped them to, to literally learn how to survive, taught them ag agriculture, taught them how to hunt, taught them uh, a lot of really great things. And they saw this as coming directly from God. They didn't see this as just a coincidence. Talk to us about why it's important more in general, especially in Christianity and other faiths, just to take time and give thanks. Sure. Well, I, th I think it's, it's, it's often, we often forget, you know, the, the blessings we have. And I think it's really important to uh, take the time to remember that, that the things we have aren't just coincidences. That's, this is something that the pilgrims saw as well. And, and, uh, and, you know, George Washington saw when he first, uh, in, you know, inaugurated Thanksgiving. And then, of course, Abraham Lincoln in 1863 made it in federal holiday because he thought it was also important to remember uh, the, the many blessings Americans have had. I mean, we're, we really have had a unique history. We're, we're, the, we're one of the only societies that's never had a famine in its almost entire 400-year history. This is almost un, un, very unusual historically. So I think it's important for us to look at the things we have and recognize that they're not just accidents, that they really, uh, you know, that there's providence involved in that. And if you, you know. Why do you think it's, it's sometimes kind of easy for us to, to dwell on the bad things that happen in our lives instead of focusing on the things for which we should be thankful? Sure. Well, as, as a Christian, uh, we, I would look at the Lord's Prayer and see that, you know, God gives us this day our daily bread. Now, a lot of times we don't, we don't perceive that as sometimes being... Sometimes we just say it without even right. thinking about it. Absolutely. We just go through it in, in a rote way. But, uh, but, you know, the Scriptures also teach us that everything works together. God causes everything to work together for good. And I, one of the things I always think about is what happened to Joseph in Egypt. The guy sold into slavery by his brothers. You know, terrible thing. But in the end, he becomes the ruler of Egypt and sa saves the lives of probably millions of people in, in, a, in a world cataclysmic famine uh, where he, you know, stores up food and everything because of God's providence. And then when, God, when Joseph later confronts his brother, he says, you know, what, what you intended for evil, you know, God meant for good. And he forgave his brothers. And I think that's what Thanksgiving maybe should be, a time of reconciliation and a time of thanks to God. Uh, for all the things we have. As we get closer to the service that you're going to be having on Wednesday and other churches might be observing for their Absolutely. Thanksgiving thir service, what do you want to focus on for your Thanksgiving message? Well, the gospel lesson for that day is actually from uh, Luke 17, 11, and it talks, it's a story about these 10 guys that are all dying of an incurable disease, leprosy at the time, and Jesus heals them, but only one guy comes back, and he says, well, where are the other nine? You know, you know, but look at this one man, and look what he did. And, and the awesome thing is that he, was, he wasn't even a Jew. He was a Samaritan, mm -hmm. and yet he had great faith. And I think that's a great uh, example for us to follow, to focus on the positive, focus on the things that we, you know, God has given us, and not focus on uh, the negative things. All right, Pastor William Parsons with Redeemer Lutheran Church in Fairhope. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time. You're welcome. And News 5 this morning will continue after the break.